How's it going everybody? Welcome to a brand new series I'm going to be trying on the channel. Now I haven't done too many series in recent memory just because a lot of the time it's either me just not enjoying it as much the longer I go in or just uh, viewership or anything in between. But you know what? We're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to try a series and I'm curious to see how it does. And I think I'm going to do some more whether or not it does well. But that's besides the point. It is a game that is beloved by many. And it's one of the best Western games over the last 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Dead Redemption. The original from 2010, not the uh, game from 2018. Which is unbelievable in its own right. But that's besides the point. Don't crucify me in the comments, but I personally have never finished the original Red Dead Redemption. I played, I think, a good 8 hours, 10 hours or so. I think I got up to Mexico, but I've never finished the game. So, we're going to play a good chunk, or a decent chunk now. And we'll see where we go from there. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Dead Redemption. One am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently. 
Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're in Armadilla, and we're heading to the saloon. Let's see what we got. Hey, the partners. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Okay. Where's one of those automated TNers? Like the one you put the coin in, and it will automatically place the people will make it look like they're playing. So well, here, uh, cool. let's mount up and hit the trail. Give me up. There you go. Oh, take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Whoa, hold on there, partner. Hold on there. Jake, take that. Enjoy your horse. That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old Serena back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> oh, gee. But yeah, I'm excited to actually uh, get into 
this we'll see. Oh, see like yeah! Oh, so it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. But I am curious to see what you guys think. Yeah, yeah. If I should do this as a series, if you think it will be good just as a one-off, a couple hour. Thing. You ain't very talkative, are you? I mean, no. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I am looking to do more like one-off videos. Damn coyote! On what a waste of good meat! Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. So let me know if there's any games you want to see me do. Like there are some games I am planning on doing a full hey. series on in the near future. Listen, mister. But this here yeah, is what's know. left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I feel about Jake. I don't really like him. Good cool, buddy. Pro approach Fort Mason. Bill! Bill, you there? As a close-up shot of John. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill! Oh, you shit. must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. Off, you only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. <laughs> you always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Implored. I... I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Ouch. Well, I'm impressive. Oh, <laughs> poor kid. Well, that's the end of the game. Thank you guys so much for coming. We'll see you soon. Oh, John, what are we gonna do with you? Well, you're Hello. alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? 
I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Let's head on out. Going back. Bonnie, I'm here. What now? Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. I... Whoops. Sorry. I am curious to, to know, though... He, what year is this? 19... something? 1910? There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. Oh. Hold on. I'm, I'm curious now. Hey, interestingly enough, in 1911, $15 back then is equivalent to $468.63 in money, essentially, today. That is actually a little bit more than I thought it would be, but that, that is pretty with interesting my current to find out. Right now, Ms. McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Oh, I can still ride a horse. The only question on. is, can I get around I'll one? show you around the property. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's do it. Master speed. What speed? She's going negative one. Not going to speed. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. It's very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. That's pretty cool. It's like a little town. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. They, they really are. That's I really the train haven't station. had too many. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. I haven't had too many bad first impressions, but there have been a 
a handful, so you have to always have the best first impression. So if you have a piss poor one, then... That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. And oh. here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Ride your host to the... Ride your host to the hitching post. Well, are we going inside? Sure, let's head inside. Get some nice sweet tea and let's talk about our day. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. For what? Because of the wolves or coyotes or what? Just other. Oh, jeez. Hit the wrong button. Sent John a flag. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. That was an accident, Bonnie. I'm sorry. I was just trying to rattle up Bill. You Thank know, you, we're Mr. Old Marston. Friends. I feel a lot happier on, someone's along uh, with me. I feel a lot happier now. I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. <laughs> We were on a crew about ten years back. With a uh, Dutch Vanderland. You ever heard of him? God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Come on then. Time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. Oh, we gotta kill all the rabbits. My, my aim. There's, it says there's. Oh. We're eating your carrots and everything else, but it's sad killing little rabbits. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Damn coyote, you're back! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill him, oh. Mr. Marston! God, coyote. They're headed gotcha. for the chicken coop. Don't you dare get off chickens. Yeah. Good shooting, Mr. Marston. Nice shot. And stay dead. That's it. Damn coyotes. Damn. Looks like that was the last of the coyotes. Just a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Let's go. I'll take you back to your room. need to kill a couple chickens. Hey, you know what? I'll take killing a couple chickens to kill or 
kill on a couple chickens to get in all the coyotes. You no, know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Oh, push. Come on, buddy. Let's hit you up for the night. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Good night. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Oh, is that a bet, Bunny? Trust me, I may be a little yeah. rusty on the 360 sticks, but you know yeah. what? I'm pretty good myself. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Don't worry, I know my horse, and I know the way we gotta go. Come on, Come on! Should I wait for you to catch up? As long as I can read the... Are you saving the best for last?
bitch just pushed me off the fucking cliff and murdered me. What? You come on. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Let me know. Are you saving the best for last? And victory. Whoa. Shall we mine? <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Sounds good. Okay. Let's go pay Marshal Johnson a little visit. Mr. Johnson, what's up? Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? 
Only when things matter. Come on then, Marson. Follow me. Let's go head to that saloon. Howdy. The saloon of the general store. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? They're happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Everybody come out with your hands up. This is the law. This dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Why is it looking like the guy from Princess and the Frog? Mount up, Marston. The villain Holden's from that movie with the, with the big pop hat. Uh. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. How's he? How's he on to us? Catch me up. I don't want to let that bastard get away. Yeah. Nobody did it. Well, as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him down while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walt's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Wow, let's go get this son of a demon. Come on! Like, you know, ride a horse correctly. Jesus, I'm all over the place. My horse is drunk. Oh. Too much tequila. Also missed his legs shot, completely. Why don't you check in well, with me next me, time? You're I got down. him before he I got. I don't me. want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see That's you soon, good. Mr. Marston. Yeah. Perfect. All right then. I think it's gonna end our foray in our first part of Red Dead Redemption One. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be 
a uh, series that I am trying out. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, let me know with a like. Uh, comment down below about the series, about anything you want to see me do. Any games, any anything, really. Um, but, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. And with that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.